This is He Knows His Sport, bringing you that heat and that fire. All right. I want to talk about Ryan Hollins, man. <laughs> Look. See? <laughs> That's what I do when I he listen to this dude talk, man. He make me want to scratch my head because I'm like, dude, I'm losing brain cells listening to you. Let me say that again. Dude, I am losing brain cells listening to you. What are you talking about? You make absolutely no sense. This guy makes Nick Wright and he makes Shannon Sharp look like they know what they're talking about. Let me say that again. He makes Nick Wright, a.k.a. Nick Wrong, Shannon Sharp, a.k.a. Shannon Unsharp, look like they know what they're talking about. Now, that's a tall order. You could make those two guys look like they know what they're talking about. Hmm. That speaks volumes, man. Matter of fact, that's an audible right there. That's beyond volumes, man. That speaks shockwaves. This guy is what I call a super classic dope and a super troglodyte. Shoot, this stuff happened a while ago, man. But he made Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, who's a goofball himself at times too. He made this man wanted to get up and leave the show. That nonsense he uttered about LeBron James as opposed to Michael Jordan. <laughs> I tell you, man, I done told y'all, Ryan Hollins is exactly what I was talking about. Nick Wright and Shannon Sharp. Have you guys ever watched Terminator? And you know how in Terminator, if every movie after the first one, they keep showing you an iteration of a Terminator that's more improved and more advanced, right? Than the last one. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about here, man. It's the same premise here as the Terminator. Nick Wright and Shannon Sharp were the first versions, right? <laughs> and then Ryan Hollins is a souped up version. It's unfortunate and it's sad, folks. But you know, guys like this, they actually last on TV. Let me say that again because it's sad that I'm saying this. Guys like this actually last on TV. You know why they last? Because guys like this drive up the ratings. Because people actually tune in to listen to their stupidity. That's right, folks. People actually pay listen, pay attention to their stupidity. Because people are shaking their heads. So by them doing that, it purposefully drives up the rating. So it's unfortunate, but an idiot like this is not going to go anywhere. He's going to stay on TV. And it's sad, but we have to continue to pay attention to him and watch him. It's ridiculous, man. But this is what we're dealing with. This is what I was trying to tell you guys about LBJ Riders Media, the LBJ Brigade, the LBJ Apologists, and the LBJ Stance. This is what we're dealing with, folks. We have to continue to deal with this nonsense. Because these people don't know basketball. It's sad because folks like myself, the Lewis Basketball Networks, the RB, the Breakthroughs, you know what I'm saying? The D. Jeffersons of the worlds. And the list goes on and on and on. The Wood, the God TV ones. You know what I'm saying? Cats like that should be on TV. Not these fools. Because <laughs> I would pay to listen to these guys. The guys I just mentioned, right? But I'm not sitting there and paying attention to this clown or Ticket TV. These are the folks that need to be on TV. Not this idiot. You know, Kendrick Perkins, I get on him, right? Because Kendrick Perkins at times sound like a silly goofball himself. But Kendrick Perkins has a dog in the race. You know, he was an ex-NBA player. And he has buddy-buddy relationships with other NBA players. Remember, we're, we're kind of still in the remnant of the La Super Friends era. Where players are just kind of extra buddy-buddy with each other. Whether it's the on-season and especially when it's the off-season, right? But they're buddy-buddy. So they're going to... You know, side with each other on nonsense and all kinds of, you just, you name it. It is what it is. But at least Kendrick Perkins, when it's time for him to call out the foolery, he calls it out, man. And he keeps things in its proper perspective and he doesn't go so outrageous with his claims. This guy right here, I can't, I have to take everything he says with a grain of salt. I'm glad Steven Jackson got on him. You remember what Steven Jackson said? Idiots like this that has not scored more than 11 points a game. You can't listen to them. Steven Jackson did what I always do. He kept the foot on the what? On the necks. 
He kept the foot on the what? On the necks of idiots like this. What I call super classic dolts and super troglodytes of this high and epic proportion. I love what Steven Jackson did because he checked this cat. If you haven't scored more than 11 points a game, you are no subject matter expert when it comes to basketball. Let alone, I'm going to listen to you about anything that has to do with the pantheon of greatness. I don't know about you guys, man, but it was long time coming that he knows the sport gave his take on it. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of cats gave their take on it, like Lewis Basketball Network and a lot of other folks. RB the Breakthrough. All these people gave their take on this dude, man. And I just kind of deferred to them because what they said was emphatic within itself. But I was like, you know what? I was watching some of the stuff he said today and it just made me go. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I I think it's just me. But y'all comment below in the comment section and let me know what y'all think, man. Because this guy right here, he's a fool of epic proportions. But like I said, the sad part about it is folks like this will last. They'll, they'll basically try to, you know what I'm saying, do away with people that that have a true understanding of basketball right and they'll kick them to the wayside right they've done this before trust and believe that people that actually know what they're talking about you know what I'm saying that are sports announcers they don't want them on tv or people that talk against lebron james like rob parker right rob parker how many times he's been suspended for saying stuff that he wasn't supposed to but the guy actually knows what he's saying and he says substantive stuff. Guys like Doug Gottlieb, they don't get enough acclaim, right? They don't get enough paying attention to, right? The Tim Leglers of the world. These guys actually speak facts and truths. But idiots like this, Brian Hollins, he actually gets, forget nine lives. These guys get infinity lives. You know why? Because they have put themselves under the LBJ Riders media and the LBJ Brigade, the LBJ Apologist and the LBJ Stance Mode. Just look what's going on with LeBron right now. He didn't fired the producer of Space Jam 2 because he wanted his own people from Spring Hill Entertainment. Don't even get me started on that. I will talk about that in another video because I know what was going on behind that. And trust me, and he knows his sport fashion bringing you that what? That heat and that fire. I will expose the LeFrog for who he is because uh, once again, he was trying to look, control the Le narrative. But when you have folks like Ryan Hollins on TV, they're going to continue to make LeBron James le, re, le, re, uh, <laughs> le relevant. I can't even say the damn word. That's how crazy saying love with anything goes. But anyways, y'all comment below in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this idiot. Because I'm telling you guys, you listen to this guy and you're going to be doing this. <laughs> this is He Knows His Sport. Checking out.